Hello, everybody, and welcome to Adventures in Aroni, episode 30. 30. 30 ish. I was trying to think. No, no it, it is 30. 30. I was trying to think of uh, if there's something that's special that happens when you turn, but there's not. We're just 30. 30. 30. You get sad and older. Dirty 30, baby. Oh, we're going to have our prostate checked soon. Hell yeah. <laughs> prostate checked. Bend, bend over 40. and take a breath, please. That's the way to start. Hell yeah. with my average Saturday night. <laughs> well, speaking <laughs> of that, we're gonna go around and introduce everybody. I'm Nick, uh, DM guy, guy. That's the guy, and we're gonna come on over to Mac. Mac, introduce yourself, describe your uh, character, and tell me, uh, where's the coolest place you've been? Uh, personally or in character? No, as as yourself, Mac. Um. So I'm Mac. Uh, my character is Andreas Juneros. Uh, I'm a Niladrin druid, uh, dressed in very nice, like white and purple silken robes with about uh, shoulder length white hair. Uh, also, like very nice rings uh, on both of my hands and earrings going all the way up, uh, both my ears. And personally, um, I, I went to Norway. Norway was cool. In the middle of bumfuck Norway, Norway, for my thesis. Bumfuck Norway. I imagine that's similar to most bumfucks anywhere, huh? It had a beautiful train station and nothing else. <laughs> cool mountains, right? Yeah. 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 Well, cool skyline. Just chill out and watch it. That's awesome. All right. We're going to go over to Casey. Casey, introduce yourself, describe your character, and tell me uh, what's your favorite weapon in... Dungeons and Dragons. Well, this is uh, this is Boggy, and Boggy's going to be talking for Casey tonight. So, as Boggy, I'm a uh, I'm a furbolg, and I'm about seven feet two inches tall, and uh, I'm really skinny. I'm not like the normal hefty furbolg. Um, so I got this greenish bluish skin. I'm pretty clean shaven. Um, don't wear a lot of clothes, but I do have some nice bone armor breastplate that Bork made me. Uh, it's kind of shitty, but don't tell him that I told you that. Um, it does the trick. It does the trick. And uh, I, I like mushrooms uh, a lot because I'm a druid and I'm level three. So Casey wanted me to tell you, he's written this down right now, that... What was your question? <laughs> Favorite weapon. Favorite weapon. Oh, I, he loves flails. Like, if he could have uh, dual wielding flail, he would so do it. But, you know, it, it just doesn't. There's, there's not a good build for it. There's, there's not. Yeah, maybe a Minotaur. You can figure something out. Either way, thanks, Boggy. All right, next we're going to go down to Michael. Uh, Michael, introduce yourself. Uh, introduce and describe your character. There is a lawnmower. <laughs> and tell me what's your favorite brand of lawnmower. Yes, I am Michael the lawnmower. Um, no, uh, I'm Michael playing a uh, different character this time. Nas, he is a goblin artificer. Um, and favorite lawnmower. I don't know, I don't have a lawn to mow. I can vouch for Husqvarna. We'll go with that one then. There you go. Ours is from Walmart. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move over to Joa. Joa, introduce yourself. Describe your character. All right. And listen to that one more a little bit. Now, uh, right. tell me what is the most expensive Lego set you own. All right. Um, where do you so keep yeah. it exactly? All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll give that a shot. Uh, let's see. I'm Joa. I'm playing Drogar. He is a dragonborn fighter. Um, kind of, sort of, kind of how you see there in that profile picture. He has kind of a orange gold skin. Um, most expensive. It doesn't have to be uh, mostly. your favorite, or not your favorite, but the fanciest. Fanciest, oh fanciest. boy. Um, 
That's, again, a tough one. I have so many. Uh, probably the fanciest one that I have is probably the 2008. Uh, oh, oh, that's majestic. Um, the, it's uh, the 2008 Republic gunship. Um, that's my kind of my favorite one. Going off of most expensive, hard to say. Um, I have the 2005 MTT, and that depending on where you're looking at it, can go from about 700 to 2300. So, damn. Yeah, that's that's uh, yeah. What's that MTT? Uh, like droid carrier. Yeah, the big oh, the, the big ass brown one. one that yeah. like you know you could like twist the gear and the thing would come out and. The yeah. chocolate droid dispenser. Um, <laughs> yeah. Roger, yeah. Roger. Against the Gungans. Uh, Roger, Roger. They're super elite force fields. That were amazing until they just walked inside them and. Yeah. No, their one weakness walking. Walking. Oh, no. All right, let's move over to Amy. Amy, introduce yourself, describe your character, and tell me what's the best candy in Ireland. I am so hurt. I'm Scottish. <laughs> uh, sorry. That's my bad. I'm a bad person. Come on. It's, it's cool. Um, it's the lawnmower's distracting. <laughs> He's from Oklahoma. Yeah, it must worry. be that lawnmower that turns. Ah, yes, the lawnmower of Scottish to Irish. I, I know it well. Um, yeah, no, I am Amy. I'm playing Larissa, the Tiefling Warlock. Um, I finally got around to fixing my character out today. So she has long flowing black hair, a, a dark red robe, and just after a hatred for everything in her eyes. Um, favorite candy is I like a good, just a plain, just a nice like milk chocolate Cadbury bar. Perfect yeah. level of sweetness. Sounds good. I'm interested. Regular chocolate. And obviously, obviously, some iron brew. Gotta be washed down. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, sorry about the thing again. That's, that's I'm bad. Uh, we're going to move down to Trevor. And Trevor, introduce yourself, describe your character, and tell me uh, what's the best candy in Alaska. Well, hello, my name is Trevor, a.k.a. Tefsley. Well, my, uh, you could call me just Tefsley either way. I am a gravity goober, a uh, level three wizard, and, uh, dude, the best candy is just straight up just moose turds. You just, they're free chocolate, bro. You just go through and you get them and you eat them up, bro. Like, nature's candy, bro. They're like the grapes of Alaska. Sometimes you get... Berries straight the from the poop vine. Surprise! Mm. Yeah, exactly, bro. It's like a like, chunky bar. But... It's like free fruit and nut. Yeah. <laughs> it is nutty. Uh, no, just kidding. It's, I mean, Alaska candy, bro. Like, there's like, just some sweet like snow candy that is delicious. You get like caramel and stuff like that, and you could bring it outside, and you get like flavor sauces. You put it in a cup with some fresh snow, like ice cream, kind of like mixing, but with like hot caramel on top. That sounds amazing. It slaps. Aww. Also, Canadians also have some snacks that are really good too. Hey, Canadians. Maple drizzles. I invented Co coffee crisps. Coffee crisps. Oh yeah. Damn. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Foods. Oh right. yeah, there, bud. Do you all not get <laughs> coffee crisps? about that. No. No. We get cookie crisps. I will, I'm I'm sending everyone coffee crisps. Is that a cookie crisp? No, it's like a a, a crunchy. Like you know a, what a crunchy. crunchy is. No, it's just like bar. chocolate covered. It's almost like toffee. like rice crispy yeah. um oh. type cereal and like caramel and nougat and then covered in chocolate. I'm trying to think what that could be like. Maybe a watch it. I don't know. <laughs> no, don't I matter. think it is a watch it. Let yeah. us know in the comments what sounds the most yeah. similar to that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let us know. At us on Twitter. And at Borks Memes while you're at it. Always at Borks Memes. Always. All right, let's get started. So, we're going to start off not in the Underdome, but under the Dome still. We're under the Mayor's office. Uh, there was a 
superhero area, uh, Super, super Ruggie's Batcave, uh, that was filled with balls and made into a ball pit and fun time area to hang out in. Um, we're a bit off. Uh, there's a corridor outside of the ball pit that goes off to another a whole system of stuff. Uh, so the the underdome is pyramid shaped, right? Mm. The rest of the ground under here could have stuff under it too, you, but y'all you haven't seen it, except for under the mayor's office. What you have seen, so it goes further, uh, and we see Feynoir and Tefsley walking along uh, with a very tall man uh, in a. Uh, in dark leathers with an eye patch and they uh they all walk up to sorry they all walk up to uh these two pods of light blue color and Feynor goes all right go ahead I uh, open open them up there uh Jeff and uh, the big guy, he he hits a button on each of them, and two of them, and we will see Mac and uh, Michael with Andres and Nas. Uh, you guys have been frozen uh, for how, God knows how long. You're not sure. Uh, you don't know each other. Uh, you were frozen at different times, um, but you were defrosting to this scene of this this wood elf with a gray mustache. He's balding. This tall human with an eye patch. And this uh, human wizard uh, in blue robes and a wizard's hat that's frantically writing things down. Uh, I really should stop drinking random potions that are given to me. I, I, uh, from the records, it seems that potion might have been something to knock you out there, but sorry about that. Uh, my name's Feynor. I'm the mayor around here. Haven't been here long, but I've read a lot about you. Uh, is a pounding headache normal? Yeah, that'll go away in time. I, I, right? And, uh, the big tall guy looks down and he goes, Yeah, I think that'll go away in time. <laughs> Are you okay, goblin friend? Uh, yeah, just, uh, trying to get my bearings. Bearings are kind of hard to be gotten when you're unfrozen from a tube. Yeah, um, sorry about the frozen thing. Apparently, there was separate reasons uh, both you was frozen, but uh, we need you now. We're starting. If you look above and above the two tubes, it says New Avengers Initiative. Uh, <laughs> break in case of emergency. And uh, there was a glass wall here, and it's been shattered. Where... Where am I? Oh, you're you're under the mayor's office in in Arony. Hmm. Hmm. You know Arony, right? You remember being here? Yeah, yeah, I remember something about some crazy wizards. It was long ago. Character. Yeah. Yeah. And you, yeah. What's your what's your name again? Sorry. I'm I'm Andreas. Andreas Ornelas. Uh, Fanware. Oh, oh, hi. Uh, I'm Jeff. And, uh... Epsley. Uh, and, uh, my name's Nas. Nas. Alright, that's a good name for you there. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to just come this way, I got a little conference room with some goodies in there. Uh, you guys can sit down and have some, uh, some quinoa. Some bread bowls. A uh, good meal does sound good after getting unfrozen. I imagine you're pretty hungry. Tuckered out. Yeah, you could say that. If you follow me, I could take you to the quinoa room. I'm just calling it that. We're having like a little fiesta back here today. We we knew you guys were coming. We thought we'd make some tacos and quinoa and beans. And I never cook, so I'm excited to see what you think. I helped them with the beans. They got a secret ingredient. Love. Right. Bake, so. Also bacon. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bacon. So bacon. You cut that up. I almost cut my finger. Yep. 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 
sounds interesting. Yeah, you guys sound interesting. You have being frozen up and stuff like that. Crazy, crazy stuff. Crazy. It's gonna be fun with you two. We're gonna have or with. How, yeah. Sorry, how many are there? All right, there's just two of them, right? Just for my notes' sake, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. No, there's. Well, we're in. We're bringing some people. Some new. Well, actually, one's fairly old. Uh, you know, one of them, Andreas and Larissa. You worked with her back in the day, I think. Um, oh, yeah, her. Yeah, and then we're grabbing Boggy and uh, that 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 uh, Droger. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let I'm gonna go get thoughts. me and Jeff. Me and me and uh, Commander uh, are gonna go get them right now. So, uh, you you take them to the quinoa. You guys uh, enjoy yourselves. Uh, take get a good a good good get a good uh, eat in. Yeah, they call me the quinoa with a body. Let's go. Uh, it's not record. That's not on record. It's on record. I whisper in in his ear. <laughs> All right, uh, I gotta go grab these other guys. Uh, you guys have fun. Get the quinoa. I, I'm gonna grab these three. Um, bye bye now. I'm getting a big bull as I say, walking away. Just goes, hey, I'm gonna follow you guys in there and get myself a bull too. I think. Okay, well, I guess I'm not going to get as much, but okay. Oh, um, no, there's plenty to go around. Now, tell I'm me. You help me keep making it. I'm kidding. Andreas. Workplace shenanigans. Nas, what's your poison? How do you like to punch and attack? I'm a druid myself, and I produce flame in my hand. That's a good attack. Fires are good to burn things. They are, and the, the flame is purple and then it va vanishes. Oh, that's beautiful. I'd love to see it sometime. I hope I don't have to use it. I can guarantee you will. <laughs> How about you, little one? No offense. Oh, uh, none taken. Um, I, I'm an artificer. All right. You do special kinds of attacks. Um, my, uh, my specific trait is, um, making, uh, specialty suits of armor. I like that. I'll have to check out your armor sometime. And you're looking now at his armor, and it's just intricate. It's a, it's a breastplate, um, but it looks to be made of black leather. Um, and it's just got these etchings all over it that are very beautiful and, uh, swooping, and, uh, they all kind of point upwards slowly to his face mm. yeah uh yeah i'll definitely be able to show you if uh i can uh take a look at your armor it looks uh quite well crafted yeah i've had it for quite a while we might have to have you give it a peek or two. Oh yeah i could definitely do give it a once over i like your guff kid uh thanks and you andreas I like the idea of her druid making purple flames. It's one of the many talents I have. Beautiful to hear it. it definitely, the way you write in books, it's kind of creepy how fast you go, honestly. What was that? As I'm writing really fast in a book. Never mind, son. I'm going to sit down and enjoy this quinoa now. Oh, shit. <laughs> I I was writing down how excited I was about this King Wade and like what you guys were saying that I kind of forget I exist and I pretend I'm a third person narrator. That's fair. Makes a lot of sense. It doesn't to me. I'm trying to enjoy, enjoy my King Wade over here, Defsley. And you're interrupting me with your word thoughts. Uh -huh. Well, uh. You sure do know how to cut the tension like a knife. Cat break. That's a cat. That's a cat. That's a cat. Did you see it? Its butt walked by. There's its floof. I literally just saw the butt. There's the floof. That we got floof. Cat. Fantastic work on having a cat. <laughs> cat tag. There is a second hidden one somewhere that may make a, <laughs> an appearance later. You gotta remind them they're cats. Sorry, continue. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
If you see a cat, you tell it it's a cat. That's what I've always said. I'm a cat. No, you're not. Sure. Don't be yiffing around here, Tefsley. <laughs> anyway, so fun. enjoy the quinoa. We got stew. It's still cooking. All right, we're going <laughs> to move over. <laughs> what are you three doing? Where are you positioned currently? The, the, uh, those, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in Lucky's. I'm kind of in Lucky's. Uh, got a chair kind of in the corner, just having a pint. Kind of just watching stuff go on. Um, I'm also in Lucky's. Um, I need to pick up a few shots of Granny's to have to take to Wojtek next time I go and see him. Oh, you want to go to shop? him in the sweet books. Buggy? I am at Lucky's. I am taking out all of the bones um, and sorting them by size and counting them and then putting them back. <laughs> you have to do that on the table. It's terrible. Stinky and gross. He's like I, prestidigitating I, bone dust away. <laughs> I could do it on the floor. Is that, is that better? That oh, would I'm actually sorry. be better. Yes, Boggy. If you could do that, that'd be fantastic for me. Now, you want That's grannies? Good. Two to go shots of grannies? No, thank you. Uh, uh, no. Not you, Boggy. Get your bones off my table. Uh, I mean, like, I, I've still got that soul coin collecting a tab, right? <sighs> Fair enough. This is it, though. Uh, make make it, well, make it five to go shots and one for now, because I don't learn my lessons. All right, I will give you, oh. I'll I give you four. Slide, four I, I to go. Ten go over as well. Okay, all right, fine. Five to go, one for now, here. Do do you need some gold? I I can give you some gold. I got gold. No, she had a tab. It's fine. I I'm a ch lucky. I I will take some. Oh yes. Oh no. I I seem to have lost my coin purse. Hmm. You want to see where this goes? Actually. Um. What do you need? Uh, lucky. What do I need? Oh, I oh I thought we um. You tell him. Uh, I, I, I think, I think 20 gold will cover this, right? He ends 20 gold to Lucky. Oh, thank you very much. This is, uh, this will definitely cover this. And, um, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Take your stuff and, um, you don't have to go or anything. Uh, he does. Uh, get your bones. You don't have to leave. Just get the bones. <laughs> oh, so I've, I've counted them, so we're all good. Uh, okay. I think we were, we had to go somewhere. Where do we have to go? We gotta meet up with right i don't and right then that's when the door opens and you see fainor walking he's like hey oh, hey hi how's it going everybody oh you're talking to me hi i'm boggy um do we know each other I'm no sorry. i mean i know you i know all of you got a lot of paperwork on you yes folks yeah, I look like to Hey, Buggy, who's this dweeb? Don't know. He seems nice enough, though. Like he goes, that's the mayor. So, anyway, I'm Fainwar. Nice to meet you in person. I need Drogar. I need Larissa. I need Boggy. I don't need drunk, passed out pops. I uh, and I don't need you, Dirk. Sorry. Hope you get people to come in for your poker. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. They'll, there's always a few that usually wander in. There we go. Fantastic. All right, you guys coming? Uh, I, what, I, I what do for? my shot before we go. Oh, yeah, roll oh. a constitution save. Yes. This oh, always go goes so well. Oh, uh, it's a 17. You're getting better. Uh, <laughs> it's, but you still have that residual magic that kind of makes you want to throw up, and so you're trying to maintain composure at the moment. 
I uh, I had some bait. of the I had some of the cocaine from our adventure yesterday, like ready to go in a little pouch, and then I just kind of put it back because I see she's not gonna die. That's my man. Stuff. Gotta drink it up good, huh? You guys coming? Okay. I, it's a special thing. I uh, trust me. There's there's goodies. That sounds good. Well, uh, I'm I'm in for helping people, but what kind of goodies? Oh no, we're definitely helping people. That's the whole plan. But there's a goodie bag at the end. I just need to invite you to do something. You don't have to join. Think of it like a seminar. I've been sitting around long enough. Yeah, let's uh, let, let's go for it. I'm in. Yeah, I guess. All right, Baggy. Oh yeah, so I'm I'm down. I'm down. Right this way. He leads you across the street <laughs> to the mayor's uh the the town hall, which is also the mayor's house. It's a big building. Um, he goes to his big desk in the in the his in his like Oval Office area. It's more of a circle office. Uh, and the desk pushes to the side, and there's a hole with some poles, three poles sticking up out of it. He's like, yeah, just hop on down and just slide down those things. You get right to where you're going. I eat myself down. There yeah, you go. I'm, I'm just going to jump in, follow. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we'll come to the whole corner. There it is. He's right behind you. He jumps on the middle pole and almost hits one of you on the head as you hop off. And uh, you come out into... It's like a cave uh, with, like, arcane screens almost with like words and stuff on them on the walls and stuff and you see like a a, a display case with like a uh a, a pink cape and eye patch on a mannequin um with another display case next to it with a black cape and a black eye patch on a mannequin and uh you see this big long table uh and the floor is just covered in the fuzzy like uh foam balls What is this place? Oh, this is uh, old cave of Super Raggy, but I converted it into a fun time ball pit. Fair enough. Just yeah, I played in the ball pit. There you go. See, she's getting right in. That's where you need to. You guys are lacking in imagination. Just dive right in. He jumps in. <laughs> dive right in here. It's good. I'm just gonna flop in. There you go. I've got it in my head that like all bar, like it's just my horn sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> You just have two two balls impaled on the end of your horns. And you <laughs> like like they do with like really like with bad goats when they keep headbutting things. <laughs> you getting in here, Baggy? Is there stuff growing in there? I don't understand. No, we're actually going somewhere else. I just thought you guys might want to swim around in some balls real quick. I thought it was a good time. No, I might hurt myself. I'm good for now. Okay, well you still gotta walk through. <laughs> There's oh, no yeah, way to get to where you're going without it. Yeah. Okay, this way. So it's difficult to to get there, but it's fine. Um, he takes you off to a, a hallway uh, etched into the, the stone of the cave, and it, it's long. Um, and he's leading you down the hallway, and he's like, uh, we've decided we needed to start a new adventurer's initiative. Um, apparently there was an adventurer's initiative back in the day with a whole group of people. They saved everybody. It was amazing. This is, um, if you, if you look over here, you'll see their, uh, their commemorative statues. And as he walks you down this hallway, you see some statues. Um, there's one of a flowing robe with adamantine spikes coming out of it. And then you pass by and there's another statue of a sword, a really thin rapier looks amazingly intricately carved and it's up against a set of ruby lips and then you see another statue of uh, a really really detailed army of forest critters and it's protecting a cocoon of amethysts and there's a statue of a staff with diamond lightning bolts that are coming out of it and a statue of a small hand holding an ornate onyx dagger it only looks, almost looks like a sword in comparison to the size of the hand. And then there's a statue of an eyeball uh, with an emerald 
pupil that it makes you feel slightly uncomfortable, but also like at peace. And it's sitting on top of a tankard uh, with a sapphire rim and bottom. Can I make a religion? Can I try and steal any of it? <laughs> or is it all just like actual statues, or is there like statues and then like the actual object? Um, so you can make a religion roll. Uh, you could. Uh, th this stuff is like behind. Like there's, it's not glass. You could get in there to steal it, but he, Fainor will see you do it. It's like indented in the walls, uh, and it's about ten feet away from you. I mean, that's an eighteen. I mean, Fainor is gonna see you do it. He's right there. Like you can't. <laughs> there's no hiding when he's right there. I feel you know like what I, I mean? can. He's actively I, showing I, you him. <laughs> I I feel like I can sweet talk my way out of this problem. All right, well, we'll roll perception. All right, I'm gonna make a history check, but I'm gonna watch this go down. Yeah. Uh, make your checks. What's the checks? A uh, what? Am I rolling? Sorry. Uh, not you, uh, Boggy, and ah. whoever else just said something. You I got a fifteen on history check. Or sleight of hand, either way. Fifteen history. Um. I mean, the robe looks familiar, for sure. It's kind of, like, got stars and moons on it. Hmm. You've seen a person walk around with a robe like that before. Um, where am I at? Feynoir. Where are you, bad? There he is. Okay, perception check. What'd you roll? Uh, an 18. An 18. All right. Uh, he, he doesn't see you as you stealth away. Um, was that a stealth or sleight of hand? Oh, wait. No, was I making another one? Sorry. I thought you meant the first one. Uh, oh, that's a crit one. And then you knock over. Um, <laughs> you straight up knock over the staff with the diamond lightning bolts on it. Uh, it falls. It hits the ground. Um... It, it's fine. The faint is like, oh, what the fuck? Uh, what, what the hell are you doing? Oh, it must be the um. Sorry, I mean, I I took the granny shot back there. No, I was yeah, just a little bit like... on my feet. I I completely tripped. I'm so sorry. No, come back over here. Don't try to steal the shit. I was, I'm just telling you about these group of superheroes who did good for the world, and I'm showing you their commemorative statues, and you go to steal from them. No, no, I was just looking a bit closer. I just Don't wanted to, to, you know, get real up close with it. Make a deception check. Okay. Uh, deception. Uh, it's a f 16. Uh, let's see. Because don't you lie to me now, Okay. I'm an honest guy. I have a good time. You swim in my ball pit. You're you're right. I'm I'm sorry. Pick it up. Put it back up there. I I put it back. Freaking Argala saw you do that. She freaking kick your ass. <laughs> anyway, uh, you gotta come this way. Or uh, so that's the statues. Hope you liked them. Uh, Boggy, what was your history check? He is just drooling at them because he got a one. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea. He's trying real hard. <laughs> All right. And he leads you past that and he goes, All right, uh, this is designated quinoa party room, I think. Opens the door. You th three who are in there see this party join now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name's Boggy. Uh, it's good to meet all of you. Uh, I think we're working together today. Oh, uh, hey, how's it going? Hi, Tashley. <laughs> how's it going, folks? Sorry you got me in the middle of a quinoa bowl. What's is, it, is, there, is there food in here? There, Tashley looks uncomfortable. Yeah, come over here and eat up, kids. Uh, you guys got any meat stuff? Kinda... Oh, there's a stew that should just be about done. I'll go get some bowls. Who wants stew? I'll take some stew. Stew, stew. How did what's what's in it? Stew, uh, rabbit, 
uh, how vegetables. Did, how did you kill the rabbit? I didn't. Um, I could ask. I uh, I think it's a farm outside of town. They they was just there a free them. range? Like was no, it was it no, wild? No, yeah, they're caged caged rabbits for sure. Did they use all of the bits of the rabbit? Um, I think they turned the bones into fertilizer. Uh, the milk? guts, I don't know. The pelts for sure. Those are made into furs and leathers. What are the teeth? Ah, you, you, they might have a stockpile of them. You want to go get some? No, that sounds wasteful. Uh, yeah. I don't want any stew. Thank you, though. That's all right. You don't need any stew. You can eat quinoa and bread bowls. All of that's good. vegan. Anyway, hello, welcome. I've invited you all here uh, and defrosted two of you from crinocellosis um, and brought you as an assistant, Tesley. And uh, you are actually the person kind of in charge here, Commander Jeff Frenzy. He goes, yeah, actually, uh, let me stand up. This is the new Adventurer's Initiative. I'm Commander Jeff Frenzy. You can call me Jeff. Or Commander Frenzy. I'm a nice guy. I don't go into frenzies too often. I don't really like the name. It just happens to be my last. Hi, Jeff. My name's Boggy. It's nice Hello to meet there, you, Boggy. Commander. Hello there, Drogar. I have a file on each of you. I've learned what you've done, what you've been through, and I think you're a fine team that could make a good team to work together. Kind of raise um, my hand. Is it's like what's what's the deal with these two? And I point at um, the two new guys. These two were frozen in time, a long time ago. They told us if we started the new adventures initiative ever again, that we had to defrost these guys and bring them with us. Interesting. Okay. Okay. It's all written in the ancient texts. Fainor goes, yes, yes, there's ancient texts. Uh, I've been working on deciphering them and going through them and making sure we're doing everything by the books. It was time for the New Adventures Initiative. I just got a memo, actually, in the mail. Um, It was from... It doesn't matter who it was from, but it was from somebody who's in control. I trust you. Mm. You kind of have to. I ask you guys to go in my brain. It's such a hard thing to ask for. Oh, yeah, that was kind of weird, huh? Did you pay them for that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. The money that you this. guys didn't tell me I was getting paid for. I told you, every Friday, your your stuff was on the books. You never went and looked at those books. You always looked at the other ones. So he just goes back to writing in his book and stuffing his mouth full of quinoa and uncomfortable <laughs> just mood. Well, it is what it is. Anyway, yeah, we've assembled you guys as a team. Um, yeah, and I think it's about time that we get down to business about what this team needs to be in. Cake. Did you say cake? Yeah. I mean, what shape we need to be? Are you going to whip us into shape? Like, let's get down to business. You want a cake shape? No. How about a cake shaped cake? Ooh. Somebody going to come out of it? No, I have a simulation room. Oh. Okay. It's around the corner. We get you in there. We can try out different things. Make sure you work together. Put you into a situation that you might not be equipped to handle and see if you can handle it. Maybe you're good adventurers, maybe you're not. Maybe we can make you into the adventurers that you need to be. Would you say you are assembling us? I'd say I'm gathering. Adventurers gather. <laughs> they get brought together. No, we're getting we, brought together. Yeah. Do we, like, have this name be, you know, like, two letters, like, Maybe maybe have C D or or something. I just I like that sound better, you know? Hmm. Two letters. Let's workshop it. And then we or can BS. Have... BS. What's it stand for? Busy Being Super. Big Super. 
the yeah, team. Like super, we could be friends and we could be super. FS. Friends super. And then we could like, you know, have uh, like a uh, hall or a fortress of, you know. We have earth. that. Yeah. Here. Yeah, look, we're in it. Think anybody's getting in here? These are solid the stone walls. He this hits whole one marvelous adventure thing adventure thing adventurer i like i like the you know oh what about that marvelous adventurers the ma i like it <laughs> better watch out when ma's in town i think i'll just go with it uh you know it's just you know this is the new adventurers initiative NAI. How's that? I like it. I like yeah. it. Well, all the papers already have that written on it, so it's probably good that we keep it that way. Anyway, if you guys will follow me. Well, you can finish eating first. All right, let's sit down and eat more quinoa. And then we'll get to the training simulation room make sure you have the chops to be cut out to be new adventurers initiates any objections i, I search for more alcohol there's a full stocked bar uh i sit at the bar they know and just sees start you. random concoctions uh he sees you start doing it. He's like, oh, that's for me, uh, or that's for us to, uh, okay. You know what? You know, open bar today. Open bar. You guys go ahead and get slashed. Oh. We're going to just get, realize you're going to get in a fight here in a minute. Oh, I'm good. No, 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 no. I'm, 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 I'm okay for now. I just had some. I'm, okay, I'm on the job. Okay, thanks. I'm on the clock. Uh, Andreas makes himself a highball. There you go. All right. I'm going to eat some quinoa here. We're gonna take a break. Any objections? Bye. <laughs> Hi. Welcome back. We're back. We're eating quinoa and stew and unlimited bread bowls. I'm getting tanked. Go yeah, to those who decided to. <laughs> um Everybody get familiar, you know. Let's share each. Uh, who's got the Who's got the talking stick? Who there wants, wants go. to go Let's first? Let's all answer a question about ourselves. I think that's the, the way to do it. All right, we'll start yeah. with uh, you, yeah. Tefsley, since you're so eager and willing. Okay, so tell us, Tefsley, what's your deepest fear? Uh, yeah, boy, jump, 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 jump. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, probably that we're just all fake and in a simulation. Mm. That's funny, we're going to go in the simulation room, you're talking about that. Uh, I know, that's why oh. I kind of did that gesture at the beginning of... Yeah. That's great. How about you, Drunky? Drinking all the drinks over there. Larissa, drinking all the drunks. Uh, what's, your, what's your favorite uh, beach time activity? Um... It's like the beginning of the game, yeah. but a character. <laughs> Volleyball. Oh, that's a good one. That's where you. Because I can aim for face. Yeah. I've seen it. Watched it. Agreed. All right, Drogar. Yeah. Mm. What's your favorite hair style and product? Hairstyling product. Um. Thanor's got this yeah. uh, ring of hair that goes into a ponytail, and he's bald on top. Yeah, I, I kind of have this Viking braid going on. Um. I don't know. Hairstyle and product, it, it depends. I'm, I'm still kind of looking around for um, things. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. Dapper Dan. Just kinda, I just kind of wash it. I have um, yeah. uh, doc, Dr. Um, Dr. Sasquatch. Dr. Oh, Bigfoot. Oh, there you go. That's a good one. Yeah. You should you try know, Dapper just... Dan uh, for, for moose. Oh. It's a good one. Could give it a shot. Pop. You'd be a Dapper Dan man. Pop's good. Pop. Is not as good as Dapper Dan, but it's a good brand. I'll give you that. Okay, Boggy, what's your what's the best mushroom? Best mushroom? Oh, you can't make me choose on mushrooms, but I like the cremolinis the most because they got the little long thing, and oh. uh, they got a lot of flavor, a little bit of earthiness. Yeah. I don't feel like 
you can grind them up and make them into like a little bit of a seasoning or you can put them on your salads. Um, they're, yes. they're wicked good, yeah. Oh, and uh, how about uh, 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 oh, uh, Andreas? You, uh, what, what, what month you feeling right now? What, what time of the year? What uh, season you in? Uh, more of a, a, a February. Oh yeah. Is that winter or spring? Of w end of winter. End of winter. Having just been unfrozen and everything. Uh, oh yeah, shedding off into the into the nice greens, bright greens where we're coming. Speaking of greens, hopefully. hopefully. Uh, how you doing? Um, um, oh, what was it? A nas. Uh yeah. Or, uh, what's the best? Right. What's the best screwdriver head? Oh well, uh, I mean, Phillips versus Flathead is a pretty solid debate, and then uh, you could get into all the security screws and um, all the very like individual uh, types of those. But overall, I would probably say Flathead because uh, sometimes you can get a Phillips screw to accept a Flathead, uh -huh. and it's good, it's good for uh, prying some stuff off and. I mean, using it as things, uh, you might, uh, you shouldn't be using a screwdriver for it necessarily. Right, right. There it is. I love that. All right, cool. Well, we all know, yeah, we all know each other now. We did a nice little bonding game, didn't we? I'm Jeff. Uh, I like, uh, squirrels, um, but not the kind with three licks. I like, um, I like to hang out with my guard buddies uh i mean subordinates they look they i think they like to hang out with me they say yes sir always um that's me in a nutshell any questions what's this simulation gonna be like this sounds like a lot of fun all right so we had an idea that maybe there was a bunch of these uh little fiends trying to summon a bigger one and there may be a superhero team needed to come in and bust them up. Now, do you guys feel like a superhero team? Sometimes I do. Not particularly. Depends uh, Depends on the moment. Maybe, what not a, maybe not a team yet, but... I'm, I'm, still, I'm still good to beat stuff up. Like, All right. Uh, uh, also, uh, DM, DM, what is Jeff? Like, Jeff's I, a we, human. Okay. He has an eye patch. Uh, I was gonna say I was getting like Cusco vibes. Yeah. Or not Cusco, but uh <laughs> he's Kronk. 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 Yeah. He's definitely Kronk. Poison for Cusco. He's, he's poison. based off a certain big man. Anyway. He may or may not dress up in a blue costume. Yeah, uh, he's he's dressed like Nick Fury, that's the joke. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you guys led this way. I'll take you into the simulation room, but beforehand, we'll give you special headband eye coverings to make you feel like a real superhero tin. Now, who wants what color? Pink. All right. Give the man pink, Fainor. Fainor goes and grabs brown? the pink. You got a, like oh, red, red or black right. or oh, something yeah. like that. He, he gets Tesla, he grabs a brown one, gets it on Boggy. Uh, red or black? Which one? Black. 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 Okay, okay, there you go. There you are. I'll take purple if you have one. Purple? We got it right here. It's, uh, you want light purple, dark purple? Light purple. Light purple. Feel, yeah. Feeling lavender today. Oh, love it. Love it. Beautiful. None? I want a blood red. Blood red. I got that one right over here. There you go. How about you? It just not? blends in with my skin. <laughs> um. Well, I was gonna pick a red, but seeing as uh, that's already been taken, uh, do pink. Do you have a yellow? I got a yellow. <laughs> comes in with <laughs> Jeff. Comes in. I got a yellow. Here you go. Put that one yeah, on. Thanks. Yeah, it's a nice yellow. Do you feel like a superhero team now? Oh yeah. I put on my sunglasses above these <laughs> iPads. Pit viper. <laughs> my pit vipers. <laughs> More than ever, boss. <laughs> we should have bought those. Those are cool. Feel about the same, but 
if we need to get into character, then I think I can try a little harder. All right, let's give you special names. Right? Then maybe you'll be more in character. Baggy, you're a druid. You're a stinky druid, right? You're a, you're a stink man. How about, uh, how about spore, sp spore supplier? How about big stocks, big, big, big spore? Oh, stonk, stonk spores, spore stonks, man. Big spore? Um, big Patormius. Patormius. A That's... big box spore. Big box spore. I love it. That's your new nickname. B, B, B. You're the superhero. Big box spore. He comes in, he bonks you. Who's next? Uh, I guess I'll go. All right, let's see it, Nas. What's your superhero name? Uh, I'm the Iron Gob. The Iron Gob. Oh, hell yeah. That sounds like a real intimidating name. Can I change mine? Yeah. <laughs> Can I just be Dunk Man? Dunk Man. I no, love no, it. Like, what about uh, Fun Guy? <laughs> Dunk Man Fun Guy. <laughs> It's a bit Gunk. long. Just like Dunk Man, cause cause I could like I could get behind that. Dunk Man. Gunk. Gunk Man. Oh Gunk Man. I Gunk. like that. I like it. Pretty good Gunk Nick. Is where I come from, so. Gunk like Man. All right, Gunk Man and the Iron Gap. What about you, Andres? Hmm. I, I would rather not, but if I must, uh, Dream Eater. Dream Eater. I love that. That's real scary. You sure you don't want the dark purple? I'm good, thanks. All right. Drogar. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm thinking I might, maybe something like bat, bat, eh, bat battle dragon. Eh. Battle dragon. The, the supreme. Battle dragon the supreme. BDSM. <laughs> Mas <laughs> 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 Battle Dragon, the Supreme Master. Yeah, there you go. All right, that's yeah, a good right. name, Battle Dragon for short. Larissa, the Horned Wonder. Yes. Is the that horned it? Wonder. The Horned Wonder here to save the day. And how about we call Tefsley Trevor? <laughs> oh my god I love it <laughs> alright now Trevor I want you to sit back and let these guys try to do the work okay alright boss alright let's get in there and show them who's boss you're gonna see them before they see you use that to your advantage you ready don't wait 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 wait. don't tell anyone you gotta use the uh, our our secret identity names because you don't want anyone in there to know who we really are right that's why um, we have those names yeah yeah let's make sure everyone uh has all the names and then um you can you can just call me uh for simplicity because i don't think you guys want to be constantly if we're trying to make a communication call out you know Battle Dragon Battle Supreme, Dragon Master, Supreme all the time. Master you you can call me either um BDSM or BD, whichever one you want there. BD. How about Chain Whip? <laughs> Gag Boy? Gag Boy. <laughs> Gag Boy, it is. All right, get in there, Gag Boy. Show us your best. He shoves you guys through a door. Have a good bird. Bag Gag Boy. <laughs> let's, do a, let's do a roll of initiative. Yep. Give him a roll, or am I just observing? Uh, you are in the initiative. All right. It's eleven for me. I'll 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 come through and holler him out. Uh, do you want us to? We can change our names in Discord. Yeah, that'd be great. Have that. Okay. I'm gonna use a dice that's failed me a lot in the past, even through Star Wars Five E, and I've neglected to use it since then. Really, I got a dirty twenty. <laughs> I'm dead serious, Nick. I got a nat 20. I got a... 16. 
Hold on. Uh, Larissa does not know how to do the change my. Yeah, okay, um, I'll look at your name. Nick, right click. Right click. Mm -hmm. Right click. Name. Oh yeah, yeah. Or slash Nick in chat. Oh, change the name. There we go. Thank you. You just said my name and it works. <laughs> okay, so this is you guys. This is Drogar. This is uh, Larissa. This is Andres. This is uh, Nas. This is Boggy. And this is Tesla. I think I can see that. I don't know if you could read them or not. Uh, it's very small. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then these are dretches. You don't know what a dretch is? Can't say that no. I do. Okay, a dretch is. Oh, well, I can pull it up here. Uh, it's this oh, thing. Fun. Okay. Uh, they're, they're small size. Piggy boys. Um. They're creepy, and they're sitting around the table going, and there's a, a in the middle of the table. There's a, a body slowly forming. Um, now you guys have a surprise round. So how far away are we from them? Okay, it looks to be. What is there a ruler? Yeah. Where's the Yeah, the that one, click on that. This one? Nope. Yeah, just click on the icon and then drag. Eighty feet, eighty five, a hundred, eighty, ninety five, hundred and five. Hundred and five's the furthest it looks. From Drogar. Um, a bit further from Tesla. Eighty five, ninety, but you can't see a past these these are all obstacles in your vision that you could also hide behind okay cool uh they're made of the same thing the floor is made of okay the only well, thing that's real that. in this room it's like a it's like this honeycomb this is what you're seeing and the only thing that's real is these guys and whatever's materializing on this honeycomb platform all right um so let's see what's what's initiative uh, let me scroll down over here. There we go. Drogar's first. But uh, no, 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 no. Jimmy Nas. But who got a natural twenty? I did. You did. I, I rolled. I got a dirty twenty. Cool, cool, I got a nineteen right, plus one. You did Nas. All right. Uh, Nas is going to move uh, thirty feet towards these these dudes. Okay. And I am going to um, launch a bolt from my light crossbow at just the closest one. All right. I think that's in regular range. Go for it. Sixteen? Uh, Sixteen will hit. Twelve damage. Twelve damage. And which one was it? This guy. Uh, this yeah. guy. This guy. All right. He took twelve damage. I'll remember that. All right. Cool. Is anything else? Uh, nope. That'll be it. All right. Who's next? It's Drogar. Yeah, that's me. All oh, you ranged people. Um, <laughs> I am. At this point, I can't get to any of them so i'm just going to go my full movement speed and try to get up to them because i don't think we're in sneak mode anymore now that we've attacked them um are so you yeah, dashing going up. uh yeah i'll i'll dash um got 30 feet walking 30 walking speed there you go you so get fun. there all right uh you know the javelin or nothing oh you dashed as your action yeah yeah yeah, bonus so that's... action? Uh, no. Nothing Nothing bonus action yet. Alright. Move next. Deathly. 
do you want to do anything? I'm going to be like, guys, I'm charging up a spell. Just give me a minute. <laughs> I'm just going to write stuff down in my book and just like Search. act like I'm just powerful, powering up. You're just like Dragon Ball screaming off in the corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every Twenty minutes. Uh, this is a, it's a big one. Uh, but right. I do secretly have something prepared if stuff starts going bad. Are you moving? Uh, I'll just like s slowly walk over, kind of just doing my pump up thing, like pretending and just like, ah, just like just getting better vision and just like analyzing the situation at a better perspective. There you go. All right, you have a held action. Who's next, Andreas? Um, I am going to run all the way to the left, to like the, standing next to that box on the left. Like here? Uh, the, the farther one, further left. Oh, oh, you take, do you take an action to dash? Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, there you go. Anything else? Bonus action? Uh, nope, that's my turn. Did you want to go here? You're, you have a bit less vision on like these guys here. Uh, if you could put me on the right side of the box. There you go. Yeah. All right. Larissa. Um, do I have like a clear shot on any of them from where I am? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you might want to move so you don't hit uh the goblin, but they're pretty uh, short. Yeah, I'll I'll move like I'll move to where I can get like. A shot on them. If you get right behind, yeah, you got a clear shot there on this one for sure. Yeah. Uh, I am going to just send out an Eldritch Blast. At the hurt one or this one over here or one of this, these ones? Um, What one's already been hurt? This guy. Let's, let's go for that guy. All right. Go ahead and make an attack roll. Mm. So, huh, uh, is it charisma I add? Yeah, and your, to also your D20. proficiency. What was that, sorry? Charisma and proficiency. Oh, uh, yeah, so, uh, 19 altogether. Oh, yeah, that hits for sure. And roll damage. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, that's a 10. All right. Nice. You kill this dretch. It falls unconscious and and disappears into pixely mist. Anything else? Uh, so does that mean I get the Dark One's Blessing then? Yes, you would if restore taken, hit you points, know. but you haven't yeah. taken any damage. Right, or is it temporary hit points, or is it restore hit points? No, uh, temp, temp hit points yeah. um, to equal it. to charisma modern level when enemy HP is zero. Yep, you get that. Awesome. There you go. All right, moving on to Boggy. Boggy um, does like a half-hearted battle cry. Eat my gunk, bad guys. Um, and then <clears throat> walks 30 feet towards them. Are the hexes five feet? The, the yeah, but I can't like move you guys along them in oh, the no, right way. Fine. Right. I just wanted to cast a spell. Uh, first, I'll cast Shalala as a bonus action. Uh huh. Cantrip. So as my action, uh, yeah, so sixty-five feet. Cool. Uh, I'm looking to cast Entangle, which is a twenty-foot square. Um, probably on those three down there, yeah. If I can. Yeah, oh. If you put it at a weird angle, you could pull it off. I'll give it to we you. Don't... It's like that. See what I mean? Uh. <laughs> Yeah, let's actually just do the other two and move it up then. There's those okay. two on the right. Yeah. And move it you up like this Yeah. That? Is that good? That's good. Cool. All right. Uh, and that saves right now. Uh, creature. Yep. Strength saves for both of those guys. Fail. Fail. 
So they're restrained. They can choose to use an action to make another strength save or strength check. All right. Gotcha. And that brings us out of surprise round, but it is again uh, Nas's turn. All right. Oh, wait, Boggy, you didn't have a bonus action? I used mine. Okay, yeah, yeah, you put Shillelagh. All right, Nas. I'm going to continue to move up another 30 feet. Rev Hondroger. All right, and I will fire another bolt. One of these guys? Uh, yeah, the uh, top guy. Yeah, you have advantage on it. All right, uh, 23. 23 hits. Seven damage. All right. Anything else? Nope. Who next? Uh, Drogar, you're still next. All righty. Um, you can get to that guy. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and run up to this guy. Um, and then gonna use my uh great sword and go at him. You have advantage. Same. First rolls a dirty twenty. Uh twenty two to hit. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh that'll be thirteen damage. You killed him. Killed the little demon pig. Anything That's else? Right. Um You have like ten more feet of movement. Ten more feet of movement. Would that get me to the guy below? Yeah, difficult but terrain, it's difficult you know, terrain. Though. No, so no, it wouldn't. No, okay. Um, you can go like here. Yeah, I'll kind of like, yeah, I'll just kind of move there, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, anything else? That's right. Uh, no. I mean, I'm just gonna, you know, say, all right, that's that's BDSM going in for the kill. <laughs> really tied them in knots. Really tied them in knots. You know, gave that one good spanking. Mm -hmm. I'll tell them the same word. <laughs> Trevor, gravity goober. Your mm, your yes, held I... action fizzles. What's your new new plan? Oh man, these guys got it under control. Let me just observe and watch. But I'll also cast a magic. Like, magic missile. Okay. Put me in range to cast that if there is a guy nearby. Magic I can see it. I can see my friend, but that guy... They're looking pretty far away. Yeah, I think they're a bit too far. What's the range? Yeah. Is it 60 Jeff. feet? Let me... You can't see that guy. Quadruple check real quick. Magic missile. I would assume I would know this spell by now. What about that guy in the square? The yellow square? Is he dead? It's like a being summoned guy. You can attack him. No, no, the yellow. Oh yeah, you're yellow. killed. That you guy. Can't, you can't see him from where you're he, at. He blocked with corner of stuff. Mm -hmm. That was. You the can hit the guy being summoned. Oh, actually, oh, I know what to grab out of my pocket. Oh, is he being summoned? What? Yeah, I'm going to do Catapult instead. Oh. I'm just going to pull out the knife that I On this did guy? before. Yeah, I'm just going to be like, let's do it again. Bonk. Okay. Make Big a, bonks. Make a... Roll a d4 for me. A d4. D4 calling for mo. Literally the one die supply that I don't have. Like multiples of, I just have one. <laughs> Here's the good audio. Oh, I have two. I got a two. A two. All right, yeah. Roll your catapult. What do I need to do? Is it a deck save? Deck save. Yes. A uh, failure. <gasps> Tell me your damage. 
Okay, mirror ranges. Three damage. Incoming Mac round. I got a three D eights. Are they a baby? Five. Four. Six. Damn. Fifteen. All right. Anything else from you? No, that'll be it. That brings us to wait, wait. I go. There you go, rookies. There's some uh, insightful information. Or that uh, I'm taking a stab at this. <laughs> that one's better. That brings us to the dretches. This guy's gonna use his action to try to break out of this restraint. Break uh, track time. He, he makes it with a 19 on the die. Uh, uses movement to get right next to you. Uh, and he already used his action. So, I think this is action. All right. Um, but these guys, these four, or these three, are still doing something. But this guy is going to run up to you. And this guy is going to come in here, difficult terrain, still be able to get here. And they're both going to release some gas. A cloud out of themselves. I need you to make two constitution saving throws. That's okay. what happens when you eat bean, uh, bean quinoa. <laughs> yeah. Uh, first one is a 22. Alright, fine on that. Second one is a, another 22. Alright. Um, that is fine. You're good. You can't fart that, on me. That gas is just sitting there in front of you. Uh, it's not going anywhere. They're like in 10 foot circles here. Shame. Change the shape. Shape. Oh well. Gas. Gas. Gas, gas, oh, gas. This one reached you too. Gas. <laughs> there we go. All right. Anyway. There's that. Uh, that's their turn. These guys finish their thing almost. It goes to Mac. Andres. Yep. Uh, I will move down 30 feet. Uh, am I within 30 feet of the nearest stretch? Mm -hmm. Wait. Come on. Give me a... nope. Okay. In which case, I will ice knife uh, the thing they are trying to summon. Yes. All right. Cool. Yep. Um, make your attack, or is it a save? No. Yes, it's attack. Uh, it's an action. attack. Uh, nineteen to hit. Uh, roll a d4 for me. Okay. That's a three. A three. Uh, the knife seems to go into the portal it's being summoned out of and just sucks through. Okay. Yeah. That's my go. All right. Um, roll your splash damage, though. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, splash damage is a deck save. Yeah, go ahead and roll the damage. Okay. That's five. Five. Okay, that happens within the portal he's, this thing's being summoned out of. Um, okay. But it seems to have hit the thing. Uh, you'd imagine it hit the ground and then splashed up on him. Um, next, we are on... Larissa. Sorry. Um, can can I hit the guy that's in the yellow square? Yes. <clears throat> From where I am. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Let's just go another uh, Eldritch Blast. I think. See so, ya. Yeah. Uh, so that's a fourteen. Fourteen hits. 
Yeah. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's a two. Two damage. All right. Gotcha. Anything else? A yes, no. What was that? Sorry. Any? Is there anything else? Uh, no. I think. I think that's it. I'm gonna hang back. Gotcha. Next up is Boggy. I just realized I was. I've been doing my Halo spores wrong because they need to do a Constitution saving throw, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Oh. Um, but still, yeah. Can I move 30 feet, but try to be diagonal from Drogar? Mm -hmm. Like, so go I'm, straight I'm, down? Yeah. Okay. That gets you 30, and you're pretty much diagonal from him, yeah. Cool. I'm going to point myself at Drogar <coughs> and cast Gust of Wind. Ooh, and push yourself? Uh, no. No? The part that it, so strong line of wind, 60 feet long, 10 feet wide, blasts from me in a direction, so it's blasting towards Drogar. Uh, each creature that starts its turn must succeed a strength saving throw or be pushed 15 feet away. Say within 60 uh, falling feet? Line. 60, yeah. But the one that I am using it for is the gust disperses gas or vapor, and it extinguishes candles, torches, similar unprotected flames. Sure. Okay, so uh, what kind of saves do I make to be pushed? Strength, strength. at the beginning of their turn. Strength, strength saving throw. But gotcha. um, the, it's mainly looking for... I don't think it would disperse all the gas just within that like 10 feet. Yeah, no, that so would happen give them, like, pretty a much instantly. Almost. So those are... Those are... Whoosh. Gone. They gone. Uh... I'll get rid of this one too. Yeah, it says specifically that it a uh, gust will get rid of it. So mm -hmm. stuff's going. Uh cool. Anything else, Boggy? Uh, I don't think so. All right. Uh nope, not. Nope. All right. Um gonna continue moving up. Moving on up. Moving on up. Oh, entangle is gone, by the way, because I have to concentrate. Sorry. <laughs> You can get right next to uh, Drogar. Coolio Iglesias. <laughs> All right. I am going to attempt to uh, uh, is there an enemy in range in front of uh, Drogar? Melee range? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh... All right, I'm going to attempt to punch them with my thunder gauntlets. Let me see an attack. Seventeen. That hits. It's eleven points of thunder damage. Eleven. All right, that hurts. Anything else? Uh, nope, that'll be it. All right, that's Drogar's turn. This guy just All got right. punched with thunder in the face. This pig, small pig. Oh, was that? Was that Dro? Oh, it is Drogar's turn. Drogar's yeah, turn to make the strength save. Oh yeah, I gotta do the strength. Oh yeah, first. you gotta make the strength save. Let me do that. Nine. Nope. You get pushed fifteen feet away. Ah. You are in. You are falling into a portal that's that a bearded devil is crawling out of. Thanks, Boggy. <laughs> uh, it's hard to walk toward me, but you can walk like not toward me, and it's not hard to. So I can go just like to the if I'm moving up on the map. I can move up off the map out of the portal thingy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you gonna do that? Yeah, I'm gonna. I need to get out of there. Um, um, 
So basically, just as soon as I get out of that range, um, I'm gonna turn around. And so this Does bearded a devil is. Hit you? No. No. All right. He goes no. to attack you with a glaive and misses. As you pop out, as you walk away from the. All right. Um. So basically, I just want to get out of that portal, but stay like as close as possible. And so he's actively crawling out of that yeah. right now, right? Yes. Okay. You have a clear shot on. Cool. Um. And is that within melee range? <laughs> if you didn't leave his melee, then he wouldn't have been able to take that attack range. So, yeah, it's fine. No attack happened. Okay. Um. Hmm. So I'm about how far away from him right now? Within melee range. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go for my go for the great sword then. All right, go for it. Uh, ten to hit. Ten? No, mm -hmm. ask him. Yeah. I'm sorry. All right. Um. Yeah. So I'm just gonna use the remainder of my movement then to back out. And then that's when he's hit you back. It missed. Okay. Uh, that'll be you there. Anything else? Okay. Um. Yeah, no. Nope. Got nothing. All right. The portal cuts off. The bearded devil steps through. He screams, and his flesh beard wiggles. Is he starting his turn in there, or was he on the other side of the portal? Uh, he was. He would start his turn in there, so he'll make his check. Uh, what's the save? Fourteen strength saving throw. He's fine. Uh, he won't walk against that. He'll go straight up to you, Drogar. Cool. Um, and he's going to make an attack with his beard. His big old flesh beard. He's going to try to whop it across your face. That's a sixteen. That misses. You slap away the flesh beard and. Shake your head at him disgustedly. No, uh, I'm the one that does a slapping around here. <laughs> he comes at you with the glaive. <laughs> uh, that's a 19. That misses. Oh. Uh, he. Do you have a shield? No. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have a great sword and shield. You need a great sword and shield? No, I mean, I, it, I have a shield. It's not. On, like I'm not using. I don't it's know. Not equipped. Is it a part yeah. of your AC factored right now? Yes. What's your AC without the shield? Twenty. Without the shield? Yes. Jesus Christ! Fucking Harrington. <laughs> You're <laughs> level three, two. Level two. Oh my god. Uh. Okay. Cool. Uh. Yeah. He misses. And that's his turn. And we'll move on to. Tesla. Oh, well, that's a problem. Um, you guys need to use critical thinking in situations like this. And I am the one here that catalogs everything in all the critical thinking. So I'm just going to get something ready for next round. All right, there. You guys do great job. I'll see. I'll see you. I'll see you doing it, champs. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Next up is Andreas. Um, I'm gonna take uh two steps forward and go for ten feet. Uh, and then I will. Just fire a produce flame at the bearded devil. All right. Is that a save? Uh, nope. It no. is a 14 to hit. That hits. Okay. Damn For it. seven, seven uh, damage. All right. Um, this guy was already kind of hurt. Um, he's he's looking bloodied. All right. And that's my go. Thank you, Andres. That's uh, now the Dretch's turn. Um, 
they have to make a string. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, not this one. It goes 60 one. feet, too. Yeah, not that one. Yeah, this one gets caught, though. Um, so these three. That's a natural 20 for the back guy. Uh, what's the ZC? 14. Uh, that's a failure for one guy and a pass for that guy. So this guy gets pushed 15 feet. These two pass. Um, so he's going to stay there. This guy, it's difficult terrain to move forward. Uh, I probably wouldn't say like that because he's moving up, but if he moves towards me, so yeah. probably the first, like if you draw a line. Yeah, for those 10 if feet, he starts, yeah. First gotcha. step. Yeah, if they're, if they're ever going diagonally towards me. Um, this guy is going to... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, they'll actually dash and go up here and up here, but not have attacks. Um, so we're looking at two, or let me see. We're looking at four attacks on Nas. All right. Uh, ten. Uh, 20. That hits. Uh, 17. That meets. And 12. That miss. All right. So. It's five damage from the first attack that hit you. And right. five damage from the second. 10 damage total. Attack on Drogar. Uh, two attacks on him. Um, miss. Uh, 21? Yeah, that would hit. I mean, yeah, that would hit yeah. regardless. Uh, 4 damage to you. <clears throat> Alrighty. Uh, this guy releases his gas. Um, I need you to make a con save. Sorry, which one? Uh, sorry, uh, Nas. Nas, sorry. Uh, okay. Eleven. Eleven, you pass, and it instantly gets dispersed. <sighs> Um, that's their turn. Let's move on to Larissa. Amy, you're muted if you're there. Amy. 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 Larissa. Larissa. All right, we'll get back to Larissa. We're going to go over to Boggy. Can you move me diagonally towards the those people that just did the gas 30 feet? Yeah. Um, I can get you here. Wait. That's right uh, behind him. Yep. And I will as a bonus action you can oh. reposition Oh, there we go. So there we go. All right, we'll get you in just a second. Uh, you can reposition, so I'll just make the line go diagonally yep. straight, so all three of them are in it, and technically it has to hit gotcha. my friend. Too. Yeah, yeah. But, um, my action will be activating my spores, so all kinds of spores just go. Gotcha. That's it. And we are moving back to Larissa. What's up? Hey, Sorry, um, <laughs> I, I was just full on talking to myself there. Um, yeah, have I got? I've got clear shot on Devil Boy, right? Uh, big guy, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm. I'm just gonna aim an ultra blast right, stupid face. Uh, so oh, that yeah. is. Oh, that's a twenty-two. Twenty-two. 
Uh, that hits. I'm going to take that as a hit, I'm guessing. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that is a nine damage. Nice. He's still looking pretty hard. Um, um, bonus action? Yeah. No, I... I don't think I'm far enough away from him. I'm, I'm good. All right. Next up is Nas. Uh, can you make a strength saving throw for me? Yes. Sixteen. All right, you hold your ground. You're being pushed by wind from Boggy behind you. All right. Because uh, I forgot that I had this. I am going to cast a uh, green flame blade. All right. That's your bonus, right? Or does that yeah. is that an action that uh, makes an attack? I think it's an action. I forget which one's it's which. one action. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Weapon. There you go. Uh, <laughs> And then make a melee attack with the weapon you cast it on. So, my uh, armorer's gauntlets. Let's see it. Green flame punch. Twenty-six. Oh, not twenty. Nice. Yeah, you crit. Which one were you hitting? The weaker one or the stronger one? Uh, uh, one, one. The stronger one. Yeah. Okay. How do you do um, crit damage? Double dice or? It's up to you. Okay. Uh... I personally roll and double whatever I roll. But that's just me. That's uh, 10 damage. Boom. You punch him into dust. And then the uh, the green f uh, fire leaps to the uh, weaker the weaker dude. All right, is that a save and or just hit? No, it just does it. Just works. Let's see it. Uh, it's just my uh, spell casting modifier, so it takes four damage. That's enough to kill it. There we go. You pop a guy and he pops the other guy and all the dust goes flying in this guy's face and he's like <laughs> anything else? Yeah, yeah I'm gonna move um south ten feet. Yep. Alright. That'll be it. Drogar, you're surrounded. I see that. Um so those three dretchers, they haven't been hit at all, right? They're just yeah, they're all full. All right. And then, do you say the bearded, the bearded guy was hurt? He's real hurt. Real hurt. Okay. Well, I'm gonna be. All right. You guys finally hit me. Uh, all right. I'm gonna go for this bearded dragon guy. Do it. Swing away with that great sword. Thirteen. Just hit Mitsubishi. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, wow, okay, well, that's a six damage. All right. All right, he's, he's still... He's still standing. He's just still, barely up. I mean, just not barely, barely standing. He's, he's got a chunk about how much you just took out of him is left in his throat that you'd probably take out again, but you can't. Well, maybe okay. you can. You're a fighter, right? I am. Uh, so... I am going to uh, action surge and if I do a 15 foot cone kind of shooting the gap between the bearded dragon and then the dretch on the left would that hit both of them? You could hit one dretch and the dragon. Alright, I'm going to I'm going to do that guy. Bearded dragon, bearded devil, bearded dragon a lizard. Uh yeah. That so that's a uh, minis of bearded dragon though. Yeah, um, I'm good. Yeah, so that's a 15 foot cone, deck save of 11. All right. Uh, the devil passes. The dress does not. 
All right, so that's 2d6 coming their way. Eight damage to the dretch, and that's half, so four damage to the uh, that bearded dude. All right. The dretch seems to take the eight damage. Uh, the bearded devil kind of breathes some of it in. <sighs> All right. Anything else? Um. No, I can't. No, I'm I'm good for now. Bearded Devil's turn. <clears throat> he turns to you. He goes and tries to hit you with his face again. Um. Oh, that hits. That's a natural nineteen. Oh yeah, that would that would hit. Uh, that's that's seven damage, piercing damage, okay. and make a con save. Oh, let me get that. All right. Con saves a 20. Dirty 20. Okay, you passed. You're fine. And um, then you said 7 damage? Yeah. All right. And then he's going to attack you with his glaive. Uh, and that's a natural one. He will kill that guy that you just injured on accident. Hey, thank, thanks for your assist, down bud. With the I... <laughs> that's his turn. Tesley. Sorry, where you made it? Uh, I'm talking to myself. I'm muted. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna literally just do a thumbs up from the corner and go, "You do it great, guys. Just finish it up." <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I'm here to just write it down. You were told uh, if it starts to go south, you need to intervene because they will die in here. Are they dying? Oh, this is... No. no. <laughs> they seem to be doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you guys are doing great. Uh, Keep it up. If you guys start to die, just say the safe word BDSM. You know, we, we came up with this. <laughs> All right. Next up is Andreas. Drogar, how dexterous are you? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Not super. Like, okay. I can jump around, but I'm not good at it. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast Fairy Fire in the 20 foot cube of everything around Drogar. Uh, deck save 12. Drogar included. Fail. Pass. Big guy fail. Okay, this, everyone who. Uh, uh, I got it. I got it. Oh, okay, I got a 19. We're good. Okay. Uh, everyone who fails is surrounded in a slight purple aura, and everyone has advantage against them. There we go. And that's, and that's my go. Good turn. Next is the Dretch's turn. This guy's going to attack uh, Nas. Saving turn. Yes, he needs to make a save. Uh, he's pushed 10, 15 feet. Can he also make an opportunity within... attack? No, it's forced movement. Okay. What was that? Was, when he was starting, was he also within 10 feet of me? or? You know, with the wind? I'll give it to you with the wind, because it's pushing your spores at him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he has to make a con save. Uh, DC 14. That's a fail. Sweet. He takes two fire. I don't know that is my... Wisdom modifier or not? Oh, five necrotic damage. All right, and he goes five, ten, fifteen, twenty. He gets right there. Oh, he can't go that far. He's tiny. Man. He gets here and he yells, uh, and he dashes. That's his turn. This one will attack Drogar. Uh, that's a miss. That's a miss. This one will attack Drogar. That's a miss. That's a miss. Um, next is Marissa. 
Um, Devil's looking quite hurt, right? Mm -hmm. And you'd have advantage on attacking him. Golden purple. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna aim at him again. See it. For another Eldritch Blast. Yeah, oh, that's an at 20. Ooh. Oh. Double the dice or roll two twice. So I think I'll keep this one. This one should make a rhyme. Okay. Uh, that's uh, 14 damage total. How do you want to do that? Nice. Like You're gonna kill it, it, Larissa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you want to kill it? Ooh. Um, I want to like I'm just building up this like massive ball of Eldritch Blast in in my hands. Um, and as I launch it, I kind of just want to take like just aim straight at the middle of his face so that his beard goes like it just singes off basically. Yeah. As he dies. You you throw the the eldritch blast and it comes up and it uh, his beard's like a fleshy mass and it comes up and it goes through it and then through his head. Yes. <laughs> and he falls dead to the ground. Amazing. He's been punished. <laughs> Next is Boggy. Fatality. Um, as a bonus action, I'll cast. Healing word on um, Drogar. All right, go ahead and heal him. Da, 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 da. Heal me up. Heal me up. Don't you heal oh, me now? Uh, he's around. Five health. Five. Yep. I will take. I'll take that. Thank you. I will move down to this guy. I got thirty movement, so make a melee attack on him. So you're just so you know your your stuff's still going like this. Yeah, can we can, have me he's move in so it. it's diagonal? Yeah, he's, oh, okay. he's in fine. it right now. Technically. Cool. Alright, melee good. attack. Make your melee attack. Fifteen. Fifteen hits. Wait. Six, I think that's all I have, right? Is it it's necrotic damage? Uh, yep. Four necrotic and... Five, four, six. Ten total. Um, six of it is going to be just magic, normal. Yeah, you killed him. You come over, you bat this guy. Put him in horny yeah. jail. Uh, which is death. And his body just dusts in your wind. Does Anything else? No? All right. Let's move on to Nas. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Nas is going to move 30. up to... Right next to this one. All right. Punch him time. Give it a punch. 13. 13 hits. Eight damage. Eight damage. All right. Anything else? Uh, nope. Rogar. This one's glowing All right. purple. Yeah, I'm gonna look at look at that guy. Um, BDSM is moving in for the kill. Pulling out the great sword. Trevor, what was your held action? You're not going to believe it. What? Just a sign that says, you guys are doing a great job in press digitation. As you yell BDSM, a sign pops up in the air that says you guys are doing a great job. Well, it's like on the wall or any place. On the wall. Bit. Yeah, there you go. All right, that's a uh, 17 to hit. That hits. Uh, you have advantage too, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, I, I rolled twice. Okay. That was higher. And, oh, very nice. Uh, 16 damage. All right, yeah, you kill this guy. You clef him in twine. He has been spanked. He's been a naughty pig. 
<laughs> He's into this role. <laughs> hey, you know, it, I'm going with it. It's difficult because I'm an innocent child, so I don't know any of this. I'm going <laughs> for it, though. Right. <clears throat> Trevor, there's, it's your turn, and there's one last pig man that's bleeding to death. Oh, dude, I just, like, walk up and kill it with my hands. <laughs> he just runs over there and... <laughs> I'm gonna make it. squeal. <laughs> it's a simulation. I never get to kill anything with my hands. <laughs> Trevor starts choking this thing to death as you guys are looking on. And then that's... In the I... most pathetic and weak way. Like, the most, like, in... Like, bare... Like, can barely, like, open a jar of peanut butter. Like... You just, just like... slap it to death. Yeah, basically. That's when Commander Jeff the Fury comes in and goes, Congratulations, you finished the test. And we're going to take a quick break. <laughs> we're almost done. <laughs> hi, hi, welcome back. We're back. Uh, you guys just finished your simulated training of, of demon pig fighting and bearded man killing. Uh, and Jeff Frenzy's like, yeah, That was very good stuff you did in there. I feel confident in saying that you are some supreme warriors deserving of the title of the new adventure, Adventurer's Initiative. That was pretty cool. I, I like that. And um, yeah. yeah like it was, it was, a, fan. It was yeah. a good challenge. It was a good challenge. Got to uh, slap around some pigs. I'll tell you what, Gunk Man, you did fantastic. Battle Dragon, Supreme Master, you did unfathomable. I could not understand what was going on that wasn't so awesome and so f it was really good the way that uh, what was uh, Gob the Iron Gob the Iron Gob did with the attacking with the fists. Uh, I was a big fan of all the sling and druidy spells that. Uh, what was your nick? What was your superior name? Uh, uh, Andreas. Dream Eater. Dream Eater was doing all kinds of eating of the dreams. And uh, the, oh, what was it? The Horned, Horned. The Horned Wonder. The Horned Wonder. You really did great with those three Eldritch Blasts. It was something else. You killed the guy, the big guy. And uh, Trevor, I liked the sign. Yeah, he, he was a great moral support for us. Yeah, I don't think we could have done those choking Adam. the big Trevor. <laughs> come come out of the simulation, please. What? All right. Sorry. <laughs> Just it feels good. Yeah. Fanor comes up to you guys and he's like, "Oh yeah, this was fantastic, and I like to firmly invite you all to be a superhero team. Maybe with interchanging members of other different guys, you could bring in, give them nicknames too. But we could do missions together where we go out and so basically, there's some bad stuff happening out there right now. There's some bad guys. I need you guys to help me beat up, basically. Sure. Yeah, we could, yeah, we could probably do that. Do that. Yeah, and I'll be here guiding you all through the sending stone devices I'm gonna implant in your heads. That was a joke. Sounds cool. Anyway, don't forget to get your goodie bags on the way out. They're on the table. It's not got quinoa on it anymore, you'll notice. Did you put the quinoa in the Tupperware containers I brought? Yeah, I put it all up safely so you could take it back to your grandma's house. You want some? No, I'm all right, but you tell the Glethala I said I. Okay, she doesn't exist. I made her up. Only I so believe I can take you. Home. Where but do I'll tell you, you even you sleep? I don't know. And I was like, oh, don't play. you bother yourself with that. He's got a room. <laughs> you what? Like, you didn't know about your room? It's just right. <laughs> he shows you to your room. He, he invites everybody up, says, grab a goodie bag, come on. <laughs> he just starts crying. <laughs> this room's been here since you started. It's got your name on the door. <laughs> yeah, that's your desk. Uh, you know, I know you box. normally work at the small child's desk next to mine, but you could be working in here. And um, the desk turns into a bed. You could live here and everything. I don't know why you didn't know that. I've just been sleeping in the office. Why is there a lock on the door? I'm on just, the outside. Well, that's for uh, securatorial <laughs> reasons. Yeah, don't mind yourself with where locks are positioned and where they're not. You just keep being gunk boy. <laughs> Have fun with your life, alright? 
I'll stop looking around at things. Uh, Boggy skips and prances weirdly uh, over to the little baggy things. All right, you have yourself a goodie bag. Each of those are equal. Yeah, I'm going to go grab a bag. Equal to what? You don't get one, Deftly. Oh. What, what is it equal to? And I was like, you get paid, though. I, I forgot to give you... Here, here's a 20 platinum. I'm on the clock. 20 platinum. Hell yeah, boss. Yeah, here you go. Here's your goodie bags. Inside, you'll find a wand of smiles. An immovable rock. 500 hey. gold pieces. A 100 gold piece pearl. And 100 gold pieces of ruby dust. What was the first thing? A wand of smiles. Because we want to make sure the whole community knows we're good. So you make them smile with that thing. You make them. Have you ever used one? Particular... Watch this. Trevor, make a. Uh... Oh, what is it? How much is that pearl worth? I'm going to be so upset. I'm fighting it. I'm fighting the smiles. You can't stop me. Make I a charisma ten. saving throw. Oh, charisma. Let's see what I get. Probably garbage. Twelve. Twelve. It doesn't work on him. <laughs> Damn it. I'm clenching my Somebody teeth. Somebody else. Larissa, make a charisma saving throw. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, what did I miss? <laughs> uh, uh, it's a 14. This fucking thing. All right. Iron <laughs> Gob, make a charisma saving throw. <laughs> Oh my god, we're gonna everybody, ain't we? 19. God damn it, Boggy! Good. <laughs> Gosh dang it, Boggy. I got a 9. Alright, there you go. Boggy, you're forced to smile for the next minute. His eyes are just like popping out of his head Can and he's got visual? the biggest smile in the world. <laughs> Hey, um, can I? Cool. Sorry, can I stash my goodie bag and can I go up to Jeff and go? Oh, hey, like there, there wasn't one here for me. Oh, that's too bad. Here, take mine. It's I've used some of the charges for the day. Literally Thanks, all man. of them. <laughs> <laughs> How's that smile, Boggy? You feel nice? Uh, so feel good. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks for coming in, guys. Oh, Frozen guys, you're free to be just normal people again. Oh, cool. We, Sounds good. We can be here in the world. Yeah, what he said. Now, don't go blabbing off your mouth to every who nanny, what nanny that's this side of uh, how now uh, that there's a new Avengers initiative, uh, Adventurers initiative, and you guys are being involved in it. Can, can we keep the eye masks? Yeah. That or otherwise, people will know who we are. Good idea. Wear yeah. the eye masks when you're doing good. Don't wear them if you're doing bad. I'll find out, and I'll come and I'll kill you. Oh, wait, these are eye masks? I'm using it as a headband. Put it over your eyes next time, friend. I I, I don't think this one's wide enough. Because I, I try to put it over, but it's like oh, the yeah. eye... The eyepieces are like way too short, so it just goes uh -huh. on my nose and sits there. Yeah, you do what you can with it. Poke new eye holes if you must. We'll get you a fashioned one made up right and nice. Hot. There we go. All right. We'll get you guys hooked up with some special super gear sometime in the future. For now, stay well and be safe. Sounds good. See you That's later, funny. folks. That's where we're ending. Boom. Goodbye. <laughs>